Jaina versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. You asked for it. Pocket Galaxy. All right, let's steal the shutter walk. That's probably a Shutterwalk Shaman, right? Go ahead and shoot that guy. Okay, he's probably guessed at this point that I'm not playing Aluneth in my deck. But I am playing Doomsayer. What can he do about that? Oh, he hexed it. It's like he doesn't even know that I have cos- wait. Not Cosmic Anomaly, Worgen Abomination in my deck. I'll just kill this thing with a Celestial Emissary plus Arcane Explosion combo. Okay, looks like he's a tempo walk. That's kind of bad for me. Let's see if we can Doomsayer this board, though. If I can get away with the Doomsayer here, I can safely coin out a Pocket Galaxy. Hex number two. That's okay, though. Um, I could Blizzard here. Maybe I even just coin this guy out. Fills the 5 2. These guys don't really contest him. No hexes left. <laughs> so, Arcane Explosion. Not a clear. It is if I play it with Celestial Emissary. Could also just play Blizzard. I'll leave up one of these Anoyatrons, but that's kind of fine, right? Not really a big deal at all. I could play Acolyte if I go for the Emissary Explosion and don't care about hero powering one of these. Getting the Acolyte down does seem pretty good. And the Blizzard is definitely a card that's still good going forward. That looks like free cards. These decks don't usually play Bloodlust. So I'm not too worried about it, I don't think. Maybe I can get away with just playing Pocket Galaxy here. But maybe I'm not that worried about Pocket Galaxy in this matchup. I just want to play Jaina. In which case, maybe it's good to just keep his board down. I think I like keeping his board down. So, Emissary plus Blizzard doesn't really do anything that Blizzard plus Hero Power doesn't do. set the Corridor Creeper down to 2 health so it dies. My Acolyte does also die, but I get a card out of it, so that's fine. Picked up another Blizzard to go along with my Worgen Abomination, and I think I've probably seen all the Divine Shields out of his deck, although some of them do play Corpse Taker, maybe not. So it's only 5 power. What if he is just randomly playing Bloodlust? 17 damage, so Jane is just safe anyway. He would need like Bloodlust Lightning Bolt or something. And actually, I can even kill one of these guys, right? But yeah, I'm just safe. It would need to be like double Bloodlust. If he gets into Hagatha mode relatively soon, then Fatigue could be an issue, but even then, I can just play Pocket Galaxy and Fatigue him. 
Probably going to polymorph the Lich King and make a water elemental. And I guess I'll just develop an Acolyte while I'm at it. Spicy death and decay there. I picked up the Togwaggle, so if I'm worried about needing to combo him, now is the turn to play the Pocket Galaxy. But I think I'm just gonna make a Water Elemental. There's only a 1 in 12 chance that I draw Azalina next turn, and then it's not even guaranteed that I actually need the combo. Okay. Chain Gang, Double Fungal, Double Giggling, and a Glacial Shard. I don't have AoE, so this could be bad. Have a Polymorph and a Frostbolt. Those are probably the plays here. If I go Luna, I don't have mana to play Luna, Frostbolt, Polymorph, and Ping. That's probably fine, though. I guess I don't have to Frostbolt his, uh, Shutterwalk. Let's hit this one. Locks out more damage than just killing a 1-2, and it sets up for me to be able to hero power it next turn. But let's see, he's showing 14, I'm at 24. Do I ever just try to get away with drawing cards here? The thing is, Frostbolting the Shutterwalk doesn't really do that much. As far as, like, letting me kill it, it's just kind of blocking out 6 damage. I'm just gonna do this. Geddon's good. He's AoE and he heals me up if I take too much this turn. I believe he needs 10 damage. That should be pretty tough to have. Okay. He played an elemental last turn? Must have been that firefly. Okay, there's the Azalina, so no combos. Probably want to drop the Baron Geddon here. He's dealing damage to at least seven targets, I so I heal pretty much to full. He doesn't kill much, though. So maybe I Frostbolt the Shutterwalk, set up to Hero Power at next turn. Or I can Hero Power a Divine Shield. It kills the Annoyatron, plus lets me lifesteal off of it. I think I need to play the Frostbolt here. It's just too much damage coming my way if I don't freeze something out. I have two Frost Novas left in the deck. I have a Cosmic Anomaly, Arcane Explosion, or Shooting Star combo. Could draw into that with Arcane Intellect. I also have Malagos Shooting Star combos, but that's going to take me at least a couple turns to be able to pull off. Alright, so most of his stuff is dying here. I'm taking 10, and then he still has quite a lot of stuff in play. But I can hero power the walk. Nice that he didn't roll a healing totem, that could have been a disaster. So I could go Luna... Shooting Star here, Hero Power the Annoyatron. Leave the opponent with 8, 12 in play. Let's me draw at least one card. If I pick up like a Frost Nova or something, I could draw even more cards. Plus Luna herself is a threat. I'm not sure if it's really smart for me to be drawing too many cards at this point. What are the other options? I can go Intellect and maybe hit like Cosmic Anomaly. But that really barely even kills any more stuff. So let's just do this for now. Malagos was not the draw here. 
So, do I want to play Arcane Intellect? Nothing that I draw this turn would be good. But it could be nice to pick up something to combo with this Malagos, or just have a Frost Nova for next turn. Also gets me closer toward my Anomaly Arcane Explosion combo. Which is probably, like, the board swing I need to get back in this game. Even though I'm probably not going to get a permanent deck swap with Togwaggle, maybe at some point I can just go, like, Togwaggle Research Project. I guess that actually bursts him for 6 if I'm in fatigue. But even if the burst isn't relevant, it does draw me 2 of his cards. Maybe I could hit... Um... I don't know, I don't really want either of his Death Knights, and I've seen Shudderwalk already. I don't know, it's just good to steal his stuff, right? Looks like Hagatha, yeah. Um, I might just play Malagos here. Pretty big. I guess if I draw one of my damage spells, I can just make a Water Elemental. But what if instead of making a Water Elemental, I clear his board and have a 412? seen both hexes, right? The deck doesn't typically play Volcano. He plays double Gluttonous Ooze? Wow. This guy hates weapons. Nothing too scary, please. We're looking for zero chargers. Wow, he likes the 5-5 five five Divine Shield. Yeah, it didn't seem good enough. Not really sure why he stopped on it. Couple low rolls in a row. Bulldozer. That guy's pretty big. Besides, he likes the bulldozer. Well, the bulldozer is going to get frozen. If I pick up my arcane explosion, it does 8 damage, I believe, with this board. Pretty impressive. Wow, I have never seen Fire Elemental in that deck before. Quite a surprise. I'm out of but now my Arcane Explosion does 6 and I can Water Elemental off this guy. If he Hagathas into an answer to this Malagos, I think I'm definitely in trouble though. It's just going to be hard for me to get there. That's a Water Elemental though. You motherfucker. Okay. I'm just an Earthshock. I don't even have any spell damage left, so it doesn't really matter. I'm out of cards. Could just tempo Togwaggle here. With this board state, can he really afford to swap the decks back? And I deny him a card to deal with the board state. Let's just play it. It does mean I'm not going to get any cards out of this research project, but I think that's probably just fine. If he swaps back, maybe I just slay him as Alina next turn. Okay, he does swap back, which means he has 5 mana to deal with my... What is this, 15 power? That's useful. Water Elemental, let's go. I have so much health on the board, even if he finds the Volcano here, it's definitely just not good enough. And he still has a lot of cards in his deck that are pretty awful. Still have 15 in play, right? Nice. Got there. And I even get to end the game at 30 health. Oh, I guess that was actually... Like, he did that to discount his creeper. That actually did make sense. But this card still needs to be... I don't even know what it could be.
You asked for it. Did this guy just counter Q me? He was playing Shaman. Is Odd Paladin good into my deck though? Should I keep a Blizzard? Pretty good against Pally. But I do have double Arcane Explosion, double Shooting Star. Even Acolyte's pretty good, Doomsayer. I have a lot of good anti-aggro tools. Well, there's an Arcane Explosion and there's the best card in my deck if I live till turn 8. And it looks like he is odd. Playing the Mecharoo, huh? Reporting for duty. Can definitely get a better arcane explosion than this. That's a big mecha -roo. Probably want to explosion next turn to deal with, uh, or to prevent, like, level up and fungal mancer. So maybe this turn I just, like, bolt this guy to set up for it. Alright, looks like an Arcane Explosion turn. Probably prefer to kill the mech rather than the Taunt minion. Probably just go ahead and use this thing. And just Hero Power 1. This definitely gets better later, but that's six damage on his side of the board. Not a big fan of letting that stay up. I really want to coin out Jaina on eight, which means I need to find a turn six and a turn seven. Hopefully the turn seven I can pick up a Doomsayer to go with my Frost Nova. Just get a pretty free Frost Lich Jaina. This is bad. Show me that second Arcane Explosion right off the top. Okay, that's not good. Let's kill one of these, for sure. But then what? Could just play a couple 2-1s. Man, this board is so scary if he has level up and so not scary if he doesn't. Level up is quite a card. I'm just going to play these guys. They fight on the board a little bit. It does get rid of my spell damage burst if he does have level up. But I only have one explosion, one shooting star left in the deck, and I'd have to top deck one of them. Reporting for duty. Oh, level up. Feels good, man. Ooh. Oh, I really should have polymorphed this thing. Eh, it's only the difference between 1 and 2 power. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Probably was better, though. Hopefully his turn sucks, so that I can just coin out Jaina next turn. He's gonna set me to 10, I'll go up to 15. I know he doesn't have level up, or at least he didn't last turn. So it should be pretty hard for him to deal 15, regardless of what he can put on the board here. Okay, that's actually pretty scary. So he's got 7, 11 damage, and I'm going to be at 13. Yikes, that actually dies to quite a lot. I'm taking 6 damage because I didn't polymorph this guy. I think it is the play though. But he needs, I think, 2 damage. So there's at least a couple weapons in his deck that do that. Another Blessing of Might. Playing Mecharoo, so maybe there's War Gear in that deck. If he doesn't have it, I think I'm in a pretty good spot though. I can make another Water Elemental here and freeze out his board. 
Always play the lethal card last so you can waste everyone's time. Optimal. Alright, I got my rematch. I threw last game, and it was pretty upsetting that I threw. I wanted to play him again. I think this has to be a decent matchup for me with all the AoE I'm playing. So I could drop the Shooting Star here. I think I like dropping the Acolyte though. It's not that hard to kill three things with this. It's also just nice to clear the next turn because that leads into his Coin Fungal Mancer or level up. So this should be a full board clear, right? I can Hero Power plus play the Shooting Star. That's okay with me. I do enjoy drawing cards for free. Probably just drop another Acolyte and kill his 2-1. I have a pretty decent hand, a couple freezes, and even maybe pair the Blizzard with this guy in the future. I do have the Pocket Galaxy, but it's hard to find 7 mana in this matchup, I think. Nine cards in hand, Let's see what happens. Luna Frost Nova, draw a card. Lock him out for a turn. Set up to go Anomaly Explosion next turn, perhaps. He coined, so he can't play a Vine Cleaver this turn. I want to try to get this Luna snowballing. Luna survives. I can go Emissary, Explosion, and then I guess I would Hero Power this guy and just trade into the 1-1. One, one. Don't get any more cards out of Luna if I do that. But how do I get more cards out of Luna? I'm gonna have to, like, Frostbolt his face. That just doesn't seem good. Well, maybe I can get away with it, actually. Good shooting star here and then Frostbolt's face to keep Luna alive. Not sure that I like using the shooting star like this. But I do have a Blizzard, I have a Frost Nova. I have other stuff I can draw into. I don't know. I just like drawing cards with Stargazer Luna. I'll level up. Okay. I can draw a card off this, huh? And then maybe play the blizzard? Starlight. Behold the tools of creation. If I arcane intellect, that burns my spell damage. So even if I hit the arcane explosion, I can't do that. It's gotta just be a blizzard, right? If I go face here, I can maybe allow him to go, like, dude plus fungal mancer. But he can always just do that with his hero power, right? 
set him to 19. Baron Gudden kills my two ones. Not in love with that. Could just play the Pocket Galaxy here. Still have a Malagos in the deck. Togwaggle, Azelina, Abomination. If I didn't have these two ones up, I would slam the Baron Gudden. No questions asked. Because, like, how does he deal with it when he has an empty board? He can find Cleaver into it, but he needs to find one more. Not easy to do at all. I guess I should just play the Gudden anyway. Can even push six damage this turn. So like if he's face tanking this Geddon, he has to be worried about my Frostbolt. Reporting for duty. He needs a level up or something here just to play a little defense, but even then I just freeze out his dudes and then Geddon kills him over two turns. Could go ahead and drop the pocket galaxy here. But I could also go like what, just draw some cards? Drawing cards is actually pretty good, because then if I hit Arcane Explosion, I can get this Geddon to go face next turn, maybe. Draw some cards. Could play Frostbolt to lock out his weapon, but I don't care about him using his weapon, right? Maybe I even just play Research Project. Like, what can he draw into that I care about here? Can't really think of anything. Another Blizzard, you love to see that. Frostless Jaina, also a big fan of that one. He's at 8 here. So I can just hero power him a few times and then Anomaly Frostbolt. Even if I don't, well I guess I found the Blizzard so this Geddon can go face. But even if somehow the Geddon doesn't go face, like he plays... I don't know, Stonehill Defender or something. I guess I could just Polymorph Blizzard, but whatever. He plays his Mogushin Warden. Wait, Polymorph still beats that. Okay, he Glacial Shards my Baron Geddon. And then the two damage from the Geddon, plus the Anomaly Frostbolt kills him. But we're gonna let Baron Geddon connect for lethal here, as he did a lot of work for this game. Fifty gold. 